Welcome to the 11th edition of Human Resource Management Strategy and Practice interview series. I'm honored and excited to have Professor Alan Nankalis. He will present his views on evolution of strategic human resource management. Professor Alan Nankalis has worked as a HR academic at three Australian universities and at several international universities. He has taught many HRM courses, conducted research projects across Australia and in Asia, and they authored more than 150 books, book chapters, journal articles, and conference papers. Thank you, Dr. Narkovics, for this interview. May thank I begin you. this? <laughs> thank you. May I begin this interview by asking the question: how industry 4.0 will shape the evolution of human resource management? Okay. Uh, thank you for the question, Anjali. It's probably the most important question that HR faces across the world because Industry 4.0, or sometimes called the Fourth Industrial Revolution, is a combination of artificial intelligence, machine learning, and robotics technologies, which are going to change many, many jobs and many, many of the associated skills of those jobs, particularly in areas like um, the retail sector. For example, Coles and Woolworths are now using robots for cleaning and for stacking in warehouses and possibly for customer service later on. And in, in the health area where um, robots are doing diagnostics, medical diagnostics, and also treatment and surgery, and in education, of course, and many other sectors. So all of those combined technologies are going to change the, the shape of the modern organisation in the workplace. Um, in terms of theory, I don't think robotics and artificial intelligence are going to change strategic HRM theory mm -hmm. because essentially the theory is about getting the right people in the right place mm -hmm. at the right time and the right cost. And for cost purposes, it might be the right robotics, right robots or chatbots in the right place at the right time at the right cost. Mm -hmm. So I don't think that's going to change theory very much, but it's going to change practice considerably in every area, particularly in areas like HR planning where you're looking at what the workforce of the future is going to be like. Um, artificial intelligence and algorithms can de de determine much more precisely, more accurately than HR professionals, what people will be needed in the future, what skills. So HR planning is going to change. Job design is going to change. And it's not just a consequence of artificial intelligence, but also a confluence of artificial intelligence and COVID-19. COVID-19 has changed the way we work and where we work. Mm -hmm. So workplaces will be different kinds of places in the future with different kinds of employees and different kinds of skills. <clears throat> Excuse me. It'll also change recruitment and selection in terms of the job criteria and how, how applicants are sourced and how they're selected because chatbots can do much of the selection process themselves. It'll also change performance management. Already has because during the close down period, many people working from home had their performance managed by algorithms or at least monitored by algorithms. And in, in association with that, things like remuneration, what people are paid, how they're awarded, will change as a consequence, not just of Industry 4.0, but also because of COVID-19. And another issue we'll talk about later on, which is multi-generational workforces mm. with different mm -hmm. generations, with different expectations of jobs. So the answer to your question, I think, succinctly is that there will be major changes as a consequence of the technology and the other external factors affecting organisation. I'm honoured and excited to have Professor Marian Bird, the first female professor in the industrial relations at the University of Sydney. Marian is a preceding co-chancellor in the University of Sydney, head of the discipline of work and organisational studies and co-director of the Women, Work and Leadership Research Group. Professor Marianne Bird will present her views on the context of strategic human resource management. Thank you so much for this interview, Marianne. My pleasure. Thank you for having me here. You're most welcome. May I begin this interview by asking the question, what is the meaning of new normal for HR managers in the context of technology disruption? Well, for me, the new normal takes on a very important um, angle, especially post COVID. And in many ways, technology has not disrupted work, but it's actually enabled work to occur. So technology has enabled, and we saw this quite dramatically in COVID, people to work from home. Um, that is in industries where they didn't need to be in a, in a direct customer-facing or client-facing role. 
So the technology that we have really enabled people to move their work from the office to the home. But that, of course, sets up a series of other HR challenges. Uh, maybe do you think this new normal has come before then what we expected because of the COVID-19? What was what this ha would have happened anyway? Look, I think COVID-19 was a real catalyst for change. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and the issue is, will it continue? But we certainly learned through COVID how to use technology in um, a more in a more beneficial way, if you like. And it forced mm -hmm. people to think about how can we reorganize the way in which we do work. Oh, thank you so much. And finally, what is the human resource management strategy to mitigate the risk of new normal remote working? So the biggest mm -hmm. issue for HR managers now is for those workforces who um, are returning to work in the office or the workspace, mm -hmm. how to manage that return to work. And secondly, for those workers who are continuing to work part of their week or their work time from home or another location, how to manage that. So HR managers and, and HR departments need to think about training supervisors, team leaders and managers throughout the organisation on ensuring that they are both facilitating that work in a different location and ensuring that they are treating all their workers fairly and equally. And that is harder to do when you mm. don't have line of sight over everyone. Mm.